Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Chelsea, you know that, I know that. And I'm just a lady with a bulldog, a camera, and too many opinions and short hair now. Listen, I had to, my kid rips out my hair. I did the mom shop. I never thought I would, but I did it. And it's fine, okay, it's fine. Anyways, we have some craziness in terms of the multi-level marketing industry itself just imploding. Honestly, listen, do I even really need to be here? Probably not because they're really just eating themselves alive. However, let's be honest, I present it in a better way than they do. So thankfully, Oz, who I love so much, y'all know, I'm a big fan of Oz over at Behind MLM. If you are able to support independent journalism, do it. I support Behind MLM not only with my heart and my butt, but also with my wallet. He's amazing. He is just truly the best. And there's great information that he puts out that is well-sourced, well-researched and all that. So it's basically a collab between me and him. I love him so much. Trying to put myself in these people's shoes just gives me that like nervous I have to poop feeling. Did somebody say poop? What are you doing? It's it's time for the ad read, isn't it? I thought that's why you, I thought that's why you said poop. That's my cue. I'm trying to film a video. Well, can you get up? I need to do it. <laughs> Sorry about this. this, is very unprofessional. Oh, God, I thought she'd never leave. Right, buddy? Right? <laughs> I know, me too. Oh, it's time to talk about Colon Broom, the sponsor of today's video. Y'all trying to poop or what? What's gluten-free, GMO-free, blended in the USA, tastes delicious, and helps keep me regular. It's colon broom, baby. Now y'all already know that I love colon broom so much. I'm anemic and it's awful. And colon broom is saving my butt, quite literally. Because if you know anything about anything, which you might, iron supplements make you, how do you say, not be able to take a dump. And colon broom, she makes me able to do-do. And I do be doing that. Obviously, you should talk to your doctor before adding any type of supplements or anything like that into your daily diet. Colon Broom Premium has undergone clinical validation confirming its efficacy in weight management with key ingredients such as L-carnitine, converting fat into fuel, Capsimax reducing cravings, and psyllium husk improving gut health. Listen, this is like gold in my household. I'm not, I'm not trying to waste it. Mmm. <laughs> it even tastes good floating around in the air. Colon Broom Premium reduces bloating, relieves constipation, supports healthy cholesterol levels, helps with overall mental well-being, and boosts energy. It's full of fiber, with zero sugar, vegan, and non-GMO. So get Colon Broom today through the link in my description box. And that is colonbroom.org slash CC Suarez. And to get an extra 10% off, use the code Suarez10. Thank you again, Colon Broom, for sponsoring this video. I love you so much. And thank you to you guys for supporting my sponsors. I could not have this be my full-time job without you. So I appreciate you. And make sure you use that link in my description box and Suarez10 at checkout for an extra 10% off. Your butt not only looks good, but it will thank me. A little recap um, that we're gonna go into before getting into this entire situation. I have statements from these ladies, <laughs> the only one who doesn't have me blocked actually. We have some, some statements from other people who have reached out to me that uh, completely contradict what these people say, which is fabulous. We love that. So Awakened, which is a cult, but which is a multi-level marketing company that sells, it was at first a weight loss product uh, called Zenith that was I mean, glorified Adderall, in my opinion. Also, all this is my own opinion. This is my understanding of these situations. I am not an accountant. I'm not a lawyer. This is not business advice. You know all those disclaimers. And please do not send hate or anything like that, harassment, nothing. Don't put any energy towards any entities or individuals mentioned in this video. So <laughs> this is such a show. So that company had Zenith, which was their like staple product. And they were in a crazy lawsuit with the company that actually started this product and like the formulation and owned the patent. That crazy. I went over that entire, like the actual court documents and highlighted everything. And like, it it's so dramatic. It was 
quite a fun Friday night to have a glass, a bottle of wine and go through all those documents. I will put that video, those videos down below and then up in, I think it's that corner, I think is where it goes. As well, they sent me a 30 plus page cease and desist regarding all of that, which is hilarious. So there's that company. They also recently have started white, white labeling, private labeling, a like glorified headphone with like a sleep mask. And they say it does like all this crazy I'll have that video linked down below too, because that's insane. So basically this company is just wild and crazy. And then there's obviously Q Sciences too. Q Sciences has become more popular or rather was more popular when Monate was really hitting a wall as most MLM companies do. So a lot of people from Monate left and went over to Q Sciences. Q Sciences is one of the companies where your monthly PV is a lot lower, in my opinion, than other multi-level marketing companies. But that PV requirement, personal sales volume requirement, can be taken care of by your own purchases. So you can just buy the product yourself to be able to qualify for a downline commissions, which how is that not a pyramid scheme? It's so crazy. So anyways, it's very, very, very heavily based on recruitment as all of them are, but this one is just a lot more blatant when it comes to that. Q Sciences itself has been hitting a wall in the last two and a half years as well. Let's jump over to Oz and behind MLM. Now, Q Sciences has been purchased by Awakened founder Rodney James, which is crazy because you would think that Q Sciences would buy Awakened? Anyways, it's been this merger that has just been super vague and sketchy that they haven't really talked much about. And it's, again, just shows and proves that with all this vagueness that the distributors of these companies don't know anything. They are not in decision making positions, they don't have power, they are not business owners, they are volunteer salespeople. And it's truly, truly wild. A lot of Awaken people were super happy about this merger because in my opinion, it gives them more credibility, so to speak, which of course it doesn't, but it to them can seem like that. But then a lot of Q Sciences people were not happy about it. So this is from an article from last week on the 20th. It was actually posted on my birthday, love that for me. And it says, a dispute over unpaid commissions has revealed Awakened founder Rodney James has purchased Q Sciences. Behind MLM noted Awaken's Zenith product being sold through Q Sciences last month. A week after this update, James purchasing Q Sciences was framed as a strategic partnership. There is no mention of Q Sciences on Awaken's website. As to the dispute that confirmed James's purchase of Q Sciences, we can turn to the March 17th Instagram post from Q Sciences advisory council member and top earner, Mariel Philippone. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. So there are a few top reps and how I would compare them is like, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know that in Mon 8, there are like the original eight or something like that, right? And those people, like you're, if you're anywhere in the company in Mon 8, there's a chance that you're in, not a chance, you are 100% in one of these people's downlines, right? They're like the people at the very, very top. Now, these women weren't like the first ones in the company, but they were like, from my understanding, the very top earners, the people at the very, very top. And some of them were the first people to ever make it to the very top level of the company. Not the corporate side of the structure, but the MLM side. And don't think that it's like fancy or gives this person any power as we'll see they don't have any because it says that she's on Q Sciences Advisory Council. So with Q Sciences, this is like another... BS way that they will have these people at the very top think that they have any say anything and are like a, actually like a part of the company and have any control basically. And a lot of people who left previous MLMs because, you know, they didn't have a say in anything and things weren't going their way. I really think that Q Sciences did these certain things and had these certain things in place like this to try to like sweeten the deal of, you know, people coming over from other MLMs. And sure, that's great, kind of, you know, seeing where there are holes in your industry and where things are going wrong and then making those changes and putting them into your own company, sure, but not when it actually doesn't mean anything. So keep that in mind. So there are these four women, Marielle, Kristen, Claudia, and Brittany. All of whom have me blocked except for Kristen. <laughs> 
So that's why she's the one who DM'd me. And I thought that it was super weird. So Kristen messaged me on the 15th, wanted to reach out to you. I'm a top leader in a network marketing company. We have a big story that's coming out about our company this weekend. We would love to give you exclusivity on it and have you share about it at the same time that we're going to go public. Would you be open to a confidential conversation? Let me just preface this. I have no, I have no legal binding. I have no responsibility to keep anything that anyone says to me confidential. I did not sign nothing. Okay. But all I said, I didn't agree to it being confidential, but all I said was, hi, Kristen, I'm all ears. And she said, we are making a statement tonight. I'll send it to you here before we post it. I'd love to chat with you more in depth about it and tell you some information that we can't put in a formal statement. And I said, are you still in this MLM? Your social media posts are a bit confusing because I was so so confused, so confused because on her Instagram, it was basically saying that she was leaving a company and she was like blocking out where it said like what company it was, but it was just like, it was clear that it was like a super short name. And I was like, okay, it's clearly Q Sciences because they call it Q, which sounds even more like a cult. But she clarified and said, I've been with the MLM for five years and just recently started in digital marketing last month because all of this have been in a legal battle back and forth since, and it's just been a mess. Myself and three other top leaders have tried to find another way to make income outside of this because it's so messy, hence the confusion. And I said, okay, thanks for clarifying. And then later that night, because that was all around like 8.30, so about two hours later, I was like, hey, any update? And she said, I posted a disclaimer to my stories, waiting for a lawyer to make the final revisions for the formal statement, hoping it'll be tonight, but it may be tomorrow. It was the next day. And I said, I'm very happy y'all have a lawyer. Has whatever the situation is given a voice to the cognitive dissonance regarding network marketing? Short answer, no. <laughs> mm. A lot of times what can happen when people get burned by the MLM industry in general, but unfortunately, a lot of times it can take a individual being burned badly by their multi-level marketing company that they're in to see like, oh, this is messed up or like, oh, I see what y'all are talking about. However, unfortunately, a lot of times they'll only think it's that company and that it's not industry-wide, but they're all the same, baby girl. They're all the same. It ain't different. It's not special. So it's quite interesting that when they don't see it as such, they'll just hop right into another MLM, which is really unfortunate. So she said, it sheds light on our individual situation and the sad abuse we've endured. It isn't your typical, we talked positively about an MLM for years and now think it's all because the company is struggling and now we're gonna bash the company that's fed our families for years. This is a unique situation and has a lot of details involved. And I totally understand if you don't wanna touch it with a 10 foot pole. And I said, I'm open to hearing about the situation. <laughs> and she, then she sent me the post that they made about it the next day. And my response was, well, sh so as Oz from Behind MLM goes over, they posted, dear God, a very long, very, very, very long. Let's see how many slides this is. Seven slides, very very long. It is written by their lawyer. Pretty crazy. It details everything that's happened to them from their point of view. People on their downlines have since reached out to me. <laughs> and it's truly crazy. So a lot of people, because I sent this to my Discord first, if you're a channel member, please get in the Discord. If you want to join the channel, become a channel member. Even the most affordable tier has access to the Discord. It's real fun over there. It's been a lot more active lately. I love it. It's basically just a glorified group chat and it's real fun. We talk about everything. It's great. I love it so much. But I sent it over there first and I was like, oh my God, because when I first got this DM from her, I was like, the f is this about? <laughs> so I sent it to them and they were like, what is happening right now? I was like, I have no idea. So I sent them this and almost all of us were like, I can't read that. <laughs> Like, is it just ADHD or what is it? Because I can't read that. So we're just going to go like, dear God, I think it might be because like it's white font and then also just like it's so small. My brain just nopes out. So we are going to go ahead and just read it from Oz's blog post instead because my brain hurts. <laughs> also, he does like good little cut-ins and inserts of like breaking things down too. So that's what we're gonna go over. He's the best. All right, so it says in a statement, quote, from the desks of each couple, they accused Q Sciences of withholding commissions. We will not mince words. We have no choice because of the lies, manipulation, and inappropriate behavior we have endured at the hands of co-founder and then president of Q Sciences, Jake Spencer. As shameful as it seems, it appears no one within this network is beyond the reach of his unethical conduct, including 
A, substantial amount of field leaders, which is MLM distributors, and corporate employees who have shared with us about the emotionally abusive and immoral conduct of Mr. Spencer. And then Oz cuts in and says, problems began for Q Science's top leaders when commission checks began drying up during the second half of 2023. Also cutting in real quick, sorry, I am putting on makeup, but like also... I put on too much concealer and now I look a little bit crazy. So I'm just going to be bouncing on my face while I talk about this. Uh, One thing that I do want to cut in and interrupt Oz and say is that how interesting is it that it seems like right away they had to like hurry up and find another, you know, source of income, as she said, because of like problems that they've had. And we've heard a quite a bit from people in Q Sciences that because of, I guess, the change in their commission structure, or maybe like they weren't able to recruit as many people, you know, keep that endless cycle of recruiting up, they weren't able to maintain their income. And I'm sorry, but if you, and y'all mentioned this a lot in my comment section, but if you're bragging constantly about how you've been able to pay off so much stuff, you're making more money than like a surgeon and you now have like time freedom and whatever freedom and you're not living paycheck to paycheck and this company's so amazing. And now I have like, I don't know, like generational wealth and all this. And if you are using that to try to recruit people in, so that you can maintain the th- you're talking about. Isn't it truly crazy that they have to like scramble when their monthly income is like dissipating more and more and more? And for like a normal person, we'd be like, well, yeah, duh. Like y- you need constant income. But with how they talk about it, they should be like set for life and like be able to retire, right? But again, it's how we always talk about how one, they're most likely lying. Two, it's profit versus revenue. And three, it's not sustainable. That's something I talk about all the time with this job. It, I was just talking to my hairstylist about it. It's not sustainable. And I'm so thankful that my husband has a sustainable job. And if it was not sustainable for me to do this, or maybe you know I wasn't able to get sponsors anymore or something, because I couldn't do this full time without having sponsors, I would go back and get a normal sales job or part time or something. I don't know. I'd figure something out. It would not be a scam though. Their post continues and says, during our time with Q Sciences, our individual businesses have fluctuated because ebbs and flows are part of any business. The decline in our checks and those who worked with us, though alarming, was only part of the reason we felt the need to seek opportunities elsewhere that would be complementary to what we had established with Q Sciences. This led to the creation of the digital course, a master resale rights, which would technically be single level marketing, not multi-level marketing. It is still a scheme, especially with how they market it. That is my main gripe with master resale rights. It is such bull- and it is, it's not digital marketing. I mean, it is, but the way they market it is such bull- I'm sorry, I keep touching my hair. I We cut off like six inches. So I'm like, I'm going to keep touching it. I'm sorry. I know I'm annoying, but- I have to. It just feels so good. The Digital Courses website lists these ladies as the founders of the company. The Digital Course itself sees newly recruited participants gift upfront payments of $297, $497, or $597, and then $75 a month optional to existing participants. I think that means like there's different packages you can buy and I don't know. Anyways, bundled with the gifting payments are access to digital marketing courses that facilitate promotion of the digital course. A comprehensive business branding, marketing, and automation course organized and categorized so that it is easy to follow. The digital course has master resale rights included so that you can quickly turn around and start offering this course to your network for an immediate return on your investment. Getting back to Q Sciences, one of the digital course ladies said that all matters relating to the digital course were initially cleared with Q Sciences, but then she says that her co-founders and herself were blindsided. Q Sciences suspended our accounts on February 9th, 2024. Surely they had evidence, right? No, Q Sciences copied and pasted the exact same letter to all of us by using boilerplate letters, which lacked any facts or allegations other than suggesting we acted unethically. Not one single shred of evidence was produced by Q Sciences, and it is clear that the company was acting in bad faith. A multi-level marketing screwing over its distributors? Who would have thought? (laughs) 
What? (laughs) And then Oz goes on to say, if I can point out the obvious here, going off and launching an illegal gifting scheme is probably in violation of most multi-level marketing company policies and procedures. Certainly the gifting courses founders recruiting their Q Sciences downlines into a gifting scheme would constitute cause. You'd think. Claims after the suspensions were handed down, negotiations between these suspended ambassadors and Q Sciences continued. Initially, Justin Rose, the president of Awaken, but purportedly having taken over Q Sciences compliance from the CEO Mark Wilson in February, is claimed to have told Filippelli, we're just going to call her that from now on, that both his and the company's positions would be that they will allow ambassadors to engage in multiple business opportunities. Again, that is one of the one of the things that Q Sciences was really pushing to try to appeal to other network marketing people to like get them to come over. As long as it's not like another supplement one or like a direct competitor, you can be in and that's their thing. You can be in other MLMs. Like there are some people who are in Q Sciences and Young Living or Q Sciences and like a financial MLM. So just keep that in mind. He stated that all suspensions that were levied lacked merit and should have never happened and that it would be revised and all outstanding commissions would be paid, of course, because if they got suspended, they're not going to be paid their commissions. That's just, that's how that works. An agreement was purportedly, I love that word, reached through which all suspended accounts would be reinstated on February 15th, 2024. Unpaid commissions were then to be paid at February 16th. And then Karen Filippelli claims Q Sciences went back on their word just a day later and said that we would be paid past due commissions that following week. Another meeting was held on February 21st and that she claims that Q Sciences acknowledged, one, the digital course was not an MLM, that was categorically different from Q Sciences when it comes to business model. Two, the digital course did not engage in commission-based sales. Yeah. Well, I guess technically it doesn't because you're just reselling the same thing. Well, yeah. I guess it's not like a sales commission, like a percentage technically. You're just selling it and then, yeah. Anyways, the MLM aka network marketing industry as a whole was shrinking. You're welcome. Which is part of the reason why nearly all Q Sciences ambassadors paychecks were disappearing. So Q Sciences themselves acknowledge that. That's pretty wild to have on paper. Also discussed at the meeting was the digital course entering into a partnership. And it is here that Karen Filippelli confirms that Rodney James had purchased Q Sciences, Rodney James being the owner of Awakened. Similar discussions had been held between Miss Filippelli and the new owner, Rodney James, as well as Ashley, whoever the Mr. James and this other lady shared a deep desire, mm, red flag, run, run away, for each of us to work with the new Q Sciences moving forward. We're open to collaboration or partnership with the digital course and stated that they had no issues with us continuing to operate the digital course. We were asked to wait a few days so that they could put this whole ordeal behind us. So we gave Q Sciences the opportunity to remedy this situation once again. The next day, Q Sciences suspended the digital course co-founder Kristen Wyatt, citing cross-recruiting language. (laughs) Yikes. This is something that will happen a lot of times with multi-level marketing companies. When someone leaves and starts a new one, it actually does say in their policy and procedures, it's a non-compete, so to speak. It is very specific, though, to where it says that you cannot, you you can't try to take your team with you, basically. If you're doing that, you're violating your non-compete clause within your policy and procedures or your distributor agreement that you signed because you are taking away business from the actual company. It is quite interesting that they are saying that higher ups at Q Sciences were wanting to make a like partnership with the digital course. It would have been really smart of these digital course ladies if they would have been like, oh, well, why don't you just like buy it from us and like buy this company from us and work it into this? I feel like that would have been a smart move for Q Sciences to try to do or Awakened whoever to try to do that so that they could then keep those people and keep the people who are under them because that's how they're making all their money, right? That's how the company's making all their money is by these people having these auto ship orders every single month. But then also, of course, they don't want you to do this and to promote it because it's another stream of income for the people who are already in your downline. So if Q Sciences isn't working for them, they're not going to be promoting that. And if they're in this 
digital course thing, they're going to be promoting that instead. Less than 24 hours later, Friday the 24th, 2024, the rest of our families were informally suspended by Mark Wilson, right? This supposed soon to be retired and former CEO of Q Sciences. The letter was emotionally charged and once again lacked any evidence of alleged wrongdoing. Our families were blindsided, distressed and heartbroken to receive a meritless letter from someone who they believe to be a true friend. These people are not your friends. This is business and not good business. New Q Sciences owner Rodney James was made, was made aware of the developments, but reportedly never responded to any message, never called and never picked up the phone again. <laughs> The suspended digital course co-founders issued Q Sciences with a February 29th deadline before matters were forced to escalate. On a call prior to the deadline, Jake Spencer, right, is reported to have asserted that he personally had no interest in moving forward with an existing business relationship between any of those founders of the digital course and further stated that he would only agree to an amicable separation as a favor to the men of Q Sciences. So I assume like to the, the spouses of the women. Because of course, if you're that high up in an MLM, your spouse is probably in it too. Pardon my language, but f that guy. You're doing it as a favor to the men? Jakey boy, I gotta look into you. Yikes. Let's do a little call to action. If you know anything about this douche waffle, Jake Spencer, I've received quite a lot of DMs already because I did share these ladies posts about this situation. There have been a lot of DMs I've received of people being like, thank God people are finally calling this guy out because he's the worst. And y'all know people who are the worst are my favorite. I love it. I love it so much. So I can't wait. With that haircut and that forehead, let's go. Your no chin have a Let's get it. So Filippelli claims Spencer reinstated the suspended accounts and then scheduled another meeting the following Monday, March 4th. At the March 4th meeting, Filippelli claims that Spencer stated Mark Wilson would personally fund a legal battle against us, cited unreported legal cases as a basis for Q science policy and procedure violations. Definitely not how that works. Advised he could not render a decision on the digital course until the meeting with Q science's new leadership, new leadership committee on March 6th. So then what's the point of having that meeting? Just probably just threats. <laughs> That's probably what it is. The decision on the digital Digital course seems to pertain to a plan to integrate the digital course into Q Sciences, which is what I was just suggesting that they probably should have pushed for instead of this. And then this continues and says, as a final gesture of good faith and to once again show that we only sought to protect Q Sciences and to facilitate a resolution, the digital course offered to discount its best-selling product by $155, which happens to be the minimum amount of money an individual needs to become a commission qualified, yikes, within Q Sciences big yikes, to an active Q Science ambassador who provided proof that their monthly subscription order with Q Sciences had processed successfully. I mean, big yikes, but that is smart of them. Like that, so how I was saying it, like no wonder Q Sciences didn't really want to do that because it would be like taking people away. However, the way they worded that and tried to work that in is pretty smart of being like, no, 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 they will get a discount with us if they stay with you. Like, so that's actually really smart on their part. I hate all of this, obviously, but like, I'm not gonna have the eating cracker syndrome, all right? I am gonna have, um, I have new hair syndrome where I can't stop touching it though, so. And then it says, side note, if Q Science Ambassadors commission qualifying via a monthly spending to earn predominantly on recruiting, ambassadors doing the same sounds like a pyramid scheme to you, it is. <laughs> I love him so much. So Oz makes an amazing point here. And back in the day, I want to say like two or three years ago, when I did my first deep dive on Q Sciences, I had gone like a bit undercover. And I mean, really not undercover because they could have just looked at my Instagram and been like, oh, this is that one. So I had a few people who were in Q Sciences that were like Instagram bloggers who were being like so vague about Q Sciences. And the way they were explaining it, I was like, no, but that's a pyramid scheme. Like, what are you talking about? And I remember even saying in my deep dive video, like it took me so long to even do the video itself because I, my brain was, would just hit a wall. And I'd be like, wait, so your personal volume can be completely covered by your own auto ship every month. And then, so you just have to focus on recruiting people and get them to do the auto ship too. And then that just repeats itself. Like that's a pyramid scheme. 
It's wild. It is so wild. And then it says the digital course also offered to allow enrollment into their monthly paid membership group, The Collective. Stop it right now. For free, if said Q Science Ambassador could prove that they were continuing to be commission qualified for that specific month, thereby shifting off financial incentive for Q Science customers and ambassadors to continue doing business with Q Sciences. Again, that's really smart of them. However, Filippelli says that the digital courses offers were never discussed during subsequent Q Science Leadership Committee meetings. So they just, I, I assume Q Sciences just didn't even entertain it, which is hilarious and sad and annoying, but mostly hilarious because we're on the other side of this. Shortly after our offer lapsed on March 7th, 2024, Rodney James, newly designated CEO of Q Sciences, the one who owns Awakened, sent an untimely email seeking to discuss resolution of all issues with a proposed meeting to occur on March 11th. For reasons that aren't clear, Claudia Gonzalez is reported to have been paid a portion of her owed commissions on March 8th. When asked about the payment, James didn't respond. Filippelli claims after the payment was made, Jake Spencer became highly confrontational and directed his anger at staff for properly releasing a payment to Miss Gonzalez. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Meanwhile, the March 11th meeting that Rodney James set up fell through. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to seem insensitive by like joking about this or like laughing about it or like finding these certain things really petty and funny. But like, it's obviously sad that these people are going through this. And I don't want anyone to like be struggling. These women are not struggling. We would have to remember the history here and what these people have done. And to be profiting that much at the very top of a multi-level marketing company, you gotta be morally bankrupt. So several days later, Mr. James emailed seeking to have yet another meeting. And although we offered some time slots to schedule, we never received another response. As of March 17th, the date of Filippelli's published letter, the Instagram post that we are refusing to read right off of that because my eyeballs. No, my retinas hurt when I read that. Our, none of our families have received any of the tens of thousands of dollars owed to us despite being unsuspended, active, in good standing, and commission qualified since February 29th. There are several other ambassadors who are now experiencing similar conduct and held payments despite the fact that there is no issue with their account status. While the livelihood of each of these families has been affected, what is even worse is that Q Sciences has succeeded in alienating the people who gave the most to the company, meaning they recruited a fork ton of people and made the company a lot of money and promoted it and cross-recruited and brought in so many people and like acted like this was the best thing ever. This has also had the direct effect on causing mass confusion in the field and preventing us from servicing accounts or concerns of clients or ambassadors. The self-inflicted wounds. Oh, this is dramatic. Love this. The self-inflicted wounds of Q Sciences are clear and a company that was once a pillar of hope and prosperity for our families has now become nothing more than an abuser and a bully pursuing a personal vendetta in an attempt to control every facet of the lives of women and mothers who owe him nothing. Who owe who nothing? <laughs> And literally the next line, Oz says, what a mess. <laughs> He's, listen, we are one and the same. That's my boo. I love him so much. That's my, that's my baby right there. He's basically my dad, maybe. I don't know. He could be. Could he? Probably not. We're probably the same age. Anyways, that says, first off, regardless of whether Q Sciences is an auto ship recruitment scheme or the digital collective is an illegal gifting scheme, unpaid commissions isn't on. Pay out what is owed to, and then move on. I agree. And this is subjective on my part. Given Awaken's trajectory, Rodney James purchasing Q Sciences probably isn't going to end well. I a billion percent agree with that. Certainly integrating a non-MLM gifting scheme into Q Sciences, though, which the majority of participants are guaranteed to lose money, isn't going to resuscitate Q Sciences' bottom line. I agree. And I want to be clear that when I was saying like, oh, this is smart of them, like from a business standpoint of the the digital course girlies. I mean that it's smart like business wise for them to offer that, to propose that to Q Sciences. It's obviously not ethical, clearly, but it, it like from a consumer standpoint, but business wise for them to offer that is very smart of them to do. Between January and February, 2024, similar web tracked a 67% reduction in Q Sciences website traffic, 97,000 monthly visits down to 32,000. 
During the same period, Awaken's website increased from 600 visits a month to 2,900. Yikes. Oh, legal action has been threatened by both Q Sciences and the Digital Courses co-founders. Whether either party follows through remains to be seen. I love that. Love it so much. Now, I posted that on my Instagram story. Fabulous. However, all right, so here is a DM that I received once I reposted their statement. And it says, don't believe everything you're reading here. These girls are not innocent victims in this. Trust me on this. They were building this course secretly for months. I mean, that's understandable, yeah. Long before the possible merger was even thought about. And they were throwing tantrums at the fact that this merger wasn't disclosed to them. Oh, so you mean the um, advisory council means nothing? <laughs> Each one of these leaders also told their teams within the last year they would not work with them if they did master resale rights. And they turned around and started selling their own. They never offered this to Q Sciences until they turned their backs and their accounts were suspended because they were messaging other people in their downlines that were not direct to them. They've been boasting for over a month about how much money they're claiming to make with the digital course and flaunting these extravagant lifestyles. They're not hurting for money, as I said. They shouldn't be able to double dip on their downlines and many people in this company feel that what they're doing is wrong. I agree. They are the narcissist. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I agree with that. That wasn't the only person who reached out to me that is still in Q Sciences. There are multiple other people, couples as well. And another one reached out to me and sent me a lot of information. <laughs> and I just want to read one of these comments on, and I just want to read one of these comments on the post on Facebook of these people's statements. It was from the Philippelles. <laughs> I know that's not their name, but I'm going to butcher their name. It's going to happen. So I'd rather just say Filippelli. Now, this guy, Joshua, who's also in Q Sciences, him and his wife, and he says, I'm going to call out the elephant in the room. It's pathetic that y'all attacked so many who didn't want to be a part of that garbage a year ago. Yet now that it's biting you in the butt, you want to play victim and self-righteous. You should have stood for what's right when it was right to stand for it. At this point, you owe a lot of people an apology and need to 100% own that you were a part of it, not pretend that you didn't see it. I love that. And people were reaching out to that specific person and were saying things like, thank you for your comment on her post today. I'm so sickened that they haven't given any apologies. And then the message from Another person in the MLM continues and said, one, Kristen told me six months ago that master resale rights was a scam and illegal and not to do it. Well, it's not illegal, technically. It's interesting because like it's not illegal because of how it's marketed. However, it is a scam, in my opinion, because of how it's marketed. It's crazy. How in the world can people who said it was a scam come up with an all-encompassing course in six months? That's if they started the day after I left, not possible. Oh, so I guess this person did leave their team. And it says, when I left, Kristen went into my team chat and told everyone I was leaving before I told my team, that's really fucked up, and told them to leave the chat. She bashed me so hard, it was horrible. That's very sad. If true, that's very sad. I told Kristen that Jake was manipulating her. Jake is the uh, CEO, whoever, of Jake Spencer. One of the heads of Q Sciences, like I said, people have a lot to say about him. I told her I don't think she's a bad person, but she needs to see what's happening and one day will. She was horrible to me after that. Then to see this, it's also hypocritical. And for them to not even acknowledge the hurt they've caused, the slandering they've done in Jake's name. I don't know if she went to say on Jake's name. Allegedly. This is all anecdotal, okay? And then to act surprised that he isn't who they thought he was is disgusting. It's all transactional. Come on, y'all. I was going to comment, but they are so mean. I just can't deal with the backlash. Thank you for calling it out. Honestly, you should put that comment on each one of their posts. I'm so sick of seeing people feel bad for them. I earned every trip there was to earn in my two years there. I spent a lot of time with Marielle. I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong too. Sorry, girl. And Kristen at their retreats. And I worked closely with them. So I know how they treat people. Most people commenting didn't have the pleasure 
of that and don't know how they treated others. So I'm so glad you called it out. And the person responded and said, the truth will always come to light and they most certainly owe it to everyone not to play the victim now, but to own their trash. <laughs> Girl, it gets worse. Filippelli, what you doing? And then Mariel Filippelli, one of the digital course girlies, responded to this person that left the comment on her post and said, what a joke. You're just as big of a bully as he is. And, and he said, you can't play the victim now. These are the messages I'm getting from people that you've hurt. And here's the full message so you can stop lying to yourself and trying to create a delusion. And she said, apologies to who? You clearly don't know me. He said, look in the mirror and stop trying to play a victim at this point. She said, I am no victim. I am stating what happened. He said, everyone sees right through it. The worst thing you can do at this point is try to play the victim. And she said, what would you rather I do? He said, you need to own your crap. It would be 100% the best route. She said, what the heck did I do to you? You're a straight up bully. One person messaged you about Kristen, please. He said, you are not a victim. She said, I did not say I was. He said, I've gotten about 20 messages already. That's just one. Haha, <laughs> you're a bully and a joke. So like I said, this is truly wild. And for the women in the digital course to, for like an entire year to tell people in the company and in their downline that master resale rights sure is a scam. Great. Got it. I love that narrative. But to tell them to not do it because they were making one and wanted the people to buy from them instead. That's one so messed up. Two, just reiterates over and over and over again that these people do not care about you. Not only the company, but your upline, your sidelines, whoever. It's all transactional. It's all about money. And that is it. So please understand that. Also, yeah, two things can be true at once. I don't think how Jake Spencer, whoever is treating them or the higher ups, I don't think that that is right. However, I also don't think them starting a gifting scheme is right either. And how they're going about it, I don't think it's right. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. It's really hard for me to fathom and just understand like again how is this sustainable you're selling this you're not making money off of like you're just making money off of that one like level of sales which like yeah that's how normal sales work but posting all this and like acting like they are starting their own mlm basically and i just i don't see how it is sustainable i mean it's it's not that's point blank period it's not so I just find that super crazy and unfortunate. But we love when the multi-level marketing industry truly just eats itself alive. And that's what's happening here. Mostly all network marketing companies in the industry as a whole are really the worst, obviously, but are really failing. And it's crazy because when, you know, the world was locked down, it seemed like it was becoming more successful. But now that the world's like gotten back to normal or whatever, kind of, now we're really seeing like, okay, that was just like a, a little bit of a high and now it's going back down where it normally is. And I just find that really interesting. But of course there's always a new grift, a new scam, right? When one scam gets busted, another one comes about. And so that's what I've always said. Like even if MLMs are like outlawed, I mean, people break the law all the time and scams still happen, so whatever. But that's why I always like to say I'm more so like anti-scam commentary, not just like anti-MLM, because there's always gonna be a new scam to educate you on and to completely make fun of people about. Yeah, so there's that. And I hope that they see that, okay, I need to get out of this company, but not only that Q Sciences is a big sack of flaming dog doo doo, but it's also the entire industry itself. And further than that, that Master Resale writes, I don't want to say it's the same thing because no, it's not. But the way it's being marketed, the promises they're making, the red flags are there and the marketing is extremely unethical. So I hope that people can see that one step at a time though. So I hope y'all enjoyed this drama. This was super spicy. This is crazy. Obviously, I don't like want people to be hurt and stuff like that. So I, I want to, you know, address that. I don't want people to be treated in a manner like a lot of these people are saying how they have been treated by this company, but then also by the highest of the uplines as well. But I do think that it is beneficial because a lot of stuff comes out in times like this and a lot of people feel like they are able to speak out and that they should speak out. So sucks that, you know, what has gotten these people to this point, but I do appreciate people speaking out. So, and hopefully we can spill some more tea and hopefully the digital course ladies don't try to sue me, but um, 
I'm sure they probably will. I also do want to mention, I thought it was really interesting that she DM'd me in general, but also that she like, I think she like liked one of my posts or something, or she like followed me. She has since unfollowed me, which is fine. I don't care. But I just thought it was interesting that like she was one of the ones who messaged me. And I was like, why was she the one who messaged me? All the other ones have me blocked. So that's why I'm sure that's why, which I thought was really funny. Don't fall for these scams. Please recognize red flags. Please share your red flags with other people or like the telltale signs for them. Your butt looks so good. Leave in the comments below. Wiggum is my lord and savior. If you want to comment something for the algorithm, the algorithmic gods, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.